this thing on and I'm trying to fix it. Okay, well, I think we're live or something like that. What's going on guys? Okay, we're gonna talk about Colleen Ballinger. She still has not apologized and this is after the Rolling Stone article came out about her. Yes, the magazine, the article was dropped. This is something that a lot of people were talking about. I have it right here in my hand. This is it, this was a tweet. I'm just gonna read it to you. It says, as a preteen former fan, Adam McIntyre found a favorite in Colleen Ballinger. Okay, so hear me out. What started as a gradual interest quickly brought him into a close friendship with Colleen Ballinger that at 20, he now alleges was exploitative, abusive, and toxic. All right? And there's a picture. Now, that's a whole article that got leaked today. Now, I was going to have this conversation privately with a friend, and I was like, you know what? Let's talk about it on this video because I have a lot to say. So let me go ahead and call friend to the show, Van Luke, who's also a creator as well. So let's see if we can get her on here. We can talk about it. Hello. You're live. Hi. Hi. How okay. Are you? Good. How are you? All I'm right. Doing good. So we, you asked me. You said, "Do you think Colleen Banjer's gonna apologize?" Yes. I was like, "Wait. Wait. I'm, yes, as in she will apologize." <laughs> Oh no! Yes, as in I did ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel I feel like she she will not apologize. What do you think? Are you okay? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I was um I've been keeping up with all of this, as you know. Very interesting. Recovering from all of whatever it was that I got, I thought I had COVID. Oh, but you're oh, are you okay though? <laughs> are you sick? <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing much better. But I was watching, you know, while I'm sick in bed, and I clocked a few things that I don't know. I started to talk to you about it, and I don't know if you saw it too. <coughs> but um, it was so. Did you watch the whole Cody Rance video where she showed all the messages with Colleen? Okay, yes, yes. I didn't watch it okay. all. Because now it's deleted. I think that you're you have the whole entire live video, <coughs> right? Yes, or, I do. You have and it all. I also, I also saved a whole because I had a feeling about Cody Rance just due to her history online. You know the okay. brief history that I've seen. I kind of would stay away from her, and then she blocked me before she did all of this. So that was kind of weird. But anyway, I, I wonder why she me. blocked you. You've never really talked oh. to her, right? I know. I've never, and, and you know, it's crazy. There's several people within her friendom, I guess you could call it, that have blocked me, never engaged with them. I don't know what's going on. It's so weird, you know, but I, the only thing I can think of is it's all calculated, right? Because as I was looking, so all that to be said, I made sure to download um, a bunch of her, anything that was regarding Colleen Ballinger, basically. Yeah. And I still haven't had the time to go through all of it, but I but I did go through the video where she like exposed quote unquote the Colleen's messages between her and um, about the Adam video. And it's interesting that you say that you think she's not gonna say anything because one of the very first messages that I noticed was Colleen telling Cody Rance. I wanted to reach out to you privately and in confidence and let you know why I'm staying silent. And so for that reason, and Adam has, himself has said that in 2020, when he first came forward with everything, it took Colleen two weeks before she even said anything. And I think, honestly, that the only reason why she even said anything back then was because Cody Rance, I went and looked at those messages, and it seems almost like Cody was, like, trying to force Colleen to come out with a statement. And um, if I could read, if you don't mind, I can read why I think that you, from you, the messages. And I'll send you these receipts so you can post them on the screen for everybody else to read. All right, here we go. Is this an exclusive?
you didn't take the time. I don't think a lot of people clocked it. I well, well, hold on. Is is this receipt from uh, the video? Uh, but and but there's well, hold on, hold on. I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Is this receipt correspondence between Cody Rance and Colleen Ballinger years ago or recently? It was when when the first Adam video came out and. Ne- recently Cody released it remember she released a bunch of new receipts and but the thing that I didn't understand was Cody was trying to say that basically she was being manipulative to Colleen um, because Colleen was manipulating her which was confusing Cody was saying like she was pretending to side with Colleen and like kiss Colleen's you know what um, to be able to get her to spill info or whatever. But girl, from the receipts that I saw, because what I did was I went through the video and anytime she posted a receipt, I took a screenshot. Well, hold on. And I read hold on, it. hold on. If, if we post, if, if I were to post a video of Cody Rance, will, it, will Cody Rance flag it or something? She's been flagging videos, so I would be careful if I was you. She's okay. been flagging videos, so I'd be careful. But we don't even need the video because, girl, I'm going to send you the receipts right here. So let me read to you. So from this is Cody telling Colleen. So Colleen told her the first message is, I wanted to reach out to you privately and in confidence and let you know why I'm staying silent. After he, which means Adam, sent me that last message that he has now made public, I responded to his messages immediately and in quotations, did not ghost him, and then received a message from his mother through his DMs asking him to not, oh, asking me to not speak of him. I now realize I should have never been communicating with him in the first place. However, he is lying about a lot and showing things out of context and will be a major backlash. I hear what you're saying, but if Colleen Ballinger is saying that that um, Adam McIntyre is a liar, then she needs to disprove it. Exactly. Because I like, because I could sit up here and say, oh, well, so-and-so is a liar. So-and-so is a liar. Just believe me. Where are the receipts? Exactly. Where are the receipts? Everybody put in the comments. Where are the receipts? Everyone put in the comments. Where are the receipts? Everyone stop being lazy. Put in the comments. Where are the receipts? You know who I think has the receipts? Cody Rance. She says no. She, well, no well, I I think Cody might. Rance has the receipts. She might, but you see, I, I'm not gonna name no names, but people. But have she got them. ran off the internet. Cody if, Rance got ran off the internet. If they would have shut up and let Cody Rance keep on talking, right? Because sometimes you need to say less and listen more when people like Cody are speaking. Now, if people oh, have been hold on. smart, hold on. They wouldn't have, they would have let Listen, her keep speaking. If, if, because Cody Rance was saying, I'm getting so many comments, so many negative comments, I'm just going to leave the internet. If, if she didn't read the comments and she logged off the internet and she was still here on the internet, she would have posted more receipts. <laughs> she would have posted more receipts. And it probably would have dug herself a hole even more. But at least we would have seen the receipts. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, she said what Cody said was there was videos made about her. And then she started getting a whole lot of hate. So I feel like if people would have, like, just had some common sense and just let her talk more. And they would have just listened and let her spill everything. Because she was making videos saying, and I have those videos where she's saying, I have a whole Google Drive. I had an update to a terabyte. I will be releasing all of this soon. You know, okay, great. I get it that people didn't want, you know, the focus to be on her. But imagine if we would have let her keep on talking all of the... I feel like there's more stuff. Colleen in this message says that she had stuff that if it was, you know, if she were to show it, if I were to expose that, she says... He would get a lot of major backlash and the confidence that Cody had. And even after she made this video for Colleen, because in these messages, she it almost seems like she's the one convincing Colleen to, that she wanted to make a video. Cody was convincing Colleen, let me make the video. Let me discredit Adam. 
I'll, I can do this for you and everything. And I, when I was reading these receipts, I'm like, what? Why was she wanting to do this? She says that this is what Cody was saying, that she was doing it to try to get more info out of Colleen, which you know what? I don't know. Like she was a mole. I, it, it doesn't, to me, it seemed like if she was very much a scan, but hey, you know what? Whatever. Whatever worked to get info, I, I'm all for it. Well, I don't care, you know. Listen, we would have seen her. We, we would have seen her. But I'm exactly. not here for the shoulda, woulda, coulda. Because exactly. be, I'm, I'm not here to, it, what do they call it, crying over spilt milk. If I feel, this is just my opinion, that Cody Rant is bluffing because if she had him, she would have already done released them. She would have been no, like, this, this is my last video. Here are the receipts. Bye. I'm out. That's what I, I think. I don't think but, so, girl. Let me but, tell you why I don't think so. This is where we're going to have to disagree. Because in these receipts, once I send you these receipts, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Because in these receipts, you will see where Cody is like, do you mind if I include the DMs proving he, which means Adam, lied in my video? Because I've been able to debunk a lot of the stuff that he said so far. And then Colleen is saying, even though it will protect me more, I don't want our DMs included. I'm going to fall on my sword for this one. I have to respect his mother's wishes and not engage. Well, that's good. In the receipts. But listen, in the receipts, you're going to see she Cody keeps on asking and asking and asking. And Colleen is like, uh, I don't know. I'm so nervous. Girl, she just right. wanted the views. She's asking, asking because she wanted the views. Exactly. So I, so I feel like Colleen... She's not doing it to nothing. be a righteous, right person. She's doing it because I want the views. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying I do think that Colleen isn't going to say nothing because I think that in the first, the first time in 2020, I don't think she would have said nothing if Cody wouldn't have been pestering her to come forward with something because then that's when Cody was making the whole video Cody claims that it was Colleen trying to trick her into making the video to see the backlash she would get or whatever which I what? don't really know if I believe that or not you know I would need to see more receipts like more evidence showing that because from what Cody has shown it seems like if she basically was like Adam is a liar I can prove Adam is a liar. Please, Colleen, let me do this for but you. But this was years ago. Exactly. But then when she comes forward this year, recently, with all of this stuff, and she's Because she wanted a computer. Exactly. That's what was said, you know, that she wanted a computer. And it's just like, girl. But, you know, all that to be said, I think eventually... Everybody, I mean, people already had their feelings when Cody Rance came forward, right? Even when she graced the screen, I was like, oh, this one, this one is the one coming forward with all this, you know? But I stayed quiet because I was like, you know what? It might be the right message, wrong messenger, because she herself partook as a whole 30-year-old woman partook in conversations with minors and stuff like that. But I feel like if we would have just let her talk some more, we would have more but like you said, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I feel like there is more out there, um, which Colleen and Cody probably have. But just from the history of in 2020, where basically Colleen was kept from going back and forth, not wanting to say something, I don't think they the, were going to get But to me, the, the, okay, really to, listen, to me, this is so frustrating because it, it's, it's too much of like, oh, from years ago, the manipulation of let me let me expose it. It's too. It's so to me. It's, it's dumb. Like if you don't, if you're not gonna come forward and say it, then don't say it at all. You're just teasing and teasing and teasing. Okay. What do you mean, Colleen or Cody? I'm, I'm everybody. Everybody. Oh. Okay. Right. Everybody. Like I'm trying to say, if it seems like to me what you're telling me is that Cody Rance has receipts on Adam McIntyre to expose him. Is that what you're trying to say? No, girl. Well, that's what I got out of it. Girl. That's I what I got out of it. Well, okay, so she did say that she was looking up stuff on Adam, you know, from that she could expose him on, but she was asking Colleen in these messages. If girl. You read them to you. She was asking Colleen... 
for like, can I share our DMs? Can I do this? I think that you should say something. Let me be the one, Colleen, to go ahead and expose Adam. That's basically what I got from those messages. Irrelevant. To me, it's irrelevant. It's like objective. It doesn't make sense. It's not helping anyone's case. I don't. That's how I see it. You asked what I thought if she would say something or whatever. My question was, my question was, will, will Colleen Ballinger apologize? And for the reasons I told you, I don't think that she will. Because I think from even in 2020, the only reason she didn't I do it then. even said anything yeah, was because Cody was pestering her. That's the only reason I think that Colleen even said something to begin with was because if Cody wouldn't have been pestering her and been like, Colleen, let me be the one. I could bury Adam. I could disprove his, discredit his whole story. I feel like if Cody wouldn't have done all of that, that Colleen would have been like, nah, I'm just going to sit on it and no. I'm going to do nothing. No, I don't That's disagree. What I'm trying to say. No. Listen, what? Cody, no, I'm sorry. Adam McIntyre's mom said, do not talk about my child. Yeah. And because she said that, that was the catalyst to why Colleen Ballinger will not say anything. Now, if um, Adam McIntyre's mom gets in a DM and says, you need to apologize to my child or else, then maybe she'll come out and say something. Well, Adam That's right. is now an adult, and Adam has openly said that all that he wants from all of this, because he is a public apology a and a private a, one, a private one and a public one, not just to him but and, also to his parents, and five thousand so, dollars. Girl, no, he didn't say all of that. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like that alone, whether it's from his mama or from him, that alone should be enough for her to come out and say something. Now, again, oh, so I'm Colleen gonna... Bowser would sit down and say, now that Adam McIntyre is an adult, I want to say this. That? Yeah, she should. I'm not saying she should or shouldn't, but I think she should also say, you know, his mom told me not to speak about it then, but now that time has passed as an adult, I want, now that he's an adult, I want to apologize. She could say that. True. She could. True. Or, yeah. or she could come on camera and say, you know, I would apologize, but his mom told me not to. I'll, I still want to respect the wishes. Girl, his mom did not say don't apologize. His I mean, no, said, his mom said don't talk, don't like mention my kid. Yes, because yeah. he was still a child. But now that he's an adult, I feel like if, you know, we're all different. I'm not Colleen, thank God. But if I was, for whatever ungodly reason on this earth that I did, that I was Colleen Ballinger, I would say, you know what? Adam is an adult. I did some wrongs back then that I couldn't write for certain reasons. But now is the time, you know, I, now is the time for me to go ahead and speak my piece and make all that was wrong right. That's what she should and say. That, she that from a PR standpoint, that's what she could say. Can you repeat that again? Girl, I don't, I can't, I just said it off, I don't, I didn't have it, like, I just said it off the top of my head. But basically, you know, to say, like, girl, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, well. Just rewind it and then. Do you, yeah. do you think no. that, I don't think Cody Ranch is gone forever off the internet. Oh, girl, she's going to come back. Because she's done following the pattern of behavior, Cody Ranch mm -hmm. takes breaks and comes back. Takes breaks and comes back. And not back. only that, but she'll say, you know, there were multiple videos when I was scrolling through on her brief little comeback where she was saying, like, I'm leaving YouTube. And there was, like, so many of them. Didn't, was like, oh, didn't Jacqueline Hill say that, that the other day? She's leaving YouTube? I mean, well, yeah, le leaving tick, Twitter or something? But anyway. Well, yeah, but she'll be back because, like but, I said. No, I hold on. I thought, I thought this whole Adam McIntyre... Colleen Ballinger situation was already fizzling out. I thought that. But then I saw H3H3 bring it all up on a PowerPoint. And I have to say, I don't know about you, but I found that to be very interesting how they put all the receipts, they laid it all out. And that's what I was trying to do. I like that. You, but you weren't letting me read them. 
because you you didn't give me the you know the, the, the right grace. to read all of them. But I'm gonna give them to you because I thought it was interesting. They covered a few of these receipts that I'm gonna send to you, but they didn't cover all of them to where you could see where she is talking about um, this whole like trying to co- basically convince Colleen. Like, let me make a video. Let me show how Adam is manipulating you and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. Basically, it seemed like Cody was begging Colleen to do it. And it's very interesting in these receipts because she talks about somebody named Allison, right? And she says, Allison even made a whole video supporting him, which means Adam. Let me show how both of them are liars. Now, it's very interesting. And I downloaded those videos. Allison was someone else who was in the group chat. She's an adult. She was in the group chat when Cody Rance was in the group chat. I don't know about when Adam was in the group chat, but Cody Rance made a series of videos basically trying to discredit... Adam wasn't the first one. She also did this to this girl named Allison who came forward and who was trying to talk about a lot of the bad things that were going on within the Colleen fandom. So I found that very interesting, and a lot of people didn't clap that either. And I thought that that was very interesting, because this is not Cody's first time doing this when somebody was trying to speak out against Colleen, which yeah. makes me believe that Cody's saying, oh, this was just me trying to get the tea, get the evidence against Colleen. I was really thinking, it makes me believe that that's a whole lie, and that she really was a huge stand for Colleen, because Adam wasn't the first one that she tried to discredit she also did that with this Allison girl. And she went in. There were several videos that she did. So, again, all that to say, I don't think that Colleen, I think if we could rewind and if we could have taken Cody Rants out the equation, I feel like Colleen wouldn't have said nothing in huh. the beginning. I feel like I agree with you. I don't think she's going to say nothing now, although she should. I feel like she's not going to say nothing now because, girl, everything that has come out... I mean, what is she going to say? You know, I feel like she's just going to care. Well, she hasn't posted a YouTube video, I'll tell you that much. And she's not not doing the podcast with Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas dumped her like a hot tamale. And I feel like um, what, what I think is that Trisha Paytas, you know, the canceled queen, gave her some advice. And in true Trisha Paytas fashion, was like, Girl, you just gotta carry on. Eventually, it'll pass. We Hold on. Hold on. My Uber Eats is here. Hold on. Hello. Hello. I have eight. Yes. Thank you so much. Girl, this some tea. Look, listen. This is some major tea. I'm back. You there? Uh huh. This was a lot to take in. Yeah, it is. And I really don't even know what's going on. But I saw the Rolling Stones article. I don't know if you read it. I did not read it because you know my ADHD doesn't the, let me read a whole lot. The, the, thing, the thing is, it's like, I don't cover the drama down to the, to the where I'm going to dot my I and cross my T. I keep it very superficial, very just touch and go. I kind of felt like Ace3Ace3 Ace3 did that too because they didn't go too in depth either. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you don't have to show me 10,000 receipts to tell me that what Colleen Badger did was wrong. All I need is about yeah. good one or two. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, to sit up here and be like, well, well uh, Cody Ranch was going to do this and going to do that and blah, blah, blah. It's like, to me, it's water under the bridge. If she wants to come forward and, and say this or say that, she can. But she's gone off the internet. She's not going to. Like, I don't. I don't want to sit here and do like some sci-fi fiction and all that stuff like that, okay? Fan fiction. Fan fiction or uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Not doing all that. But it doesn't matter what I think about this in the comments down below. You guys, let me know what you think down below. The question is, do you think Colleen Bounder will apologize? My question is no. Van Luke, your answer is? No. My, uh, my answer is no. No, yeah. no. So let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. In my opinion, I think she already did apologize. By her not Wait. saying anything at all. By her staying silent wow. is her apology. By her saying silent is her, what do you say, actions speak louder than words. 
She's not saying anything because by her saying something, she's admitting to guilt. She's admitting to something. So I well, think by her not saying nothing, she's it's just even more guilty. But I think legal, legally, she's not saying anything at all. And her friend that lives with her, her assistant, he needs to get oh. his own apartment and he needs to get out of that lady's house. I mean, you're a grown ass man. Why are you living in there? Get out. That's my opinion about that too. Wow. Okay, I gotta let you guys go. My Uber Eats is here. Let me know what you think about that. Comments below. This was Van Luke, psychic. Number one psychic on YouTube psychic. right here. Check her out. I'll put her link down below because she always finds these little like holes and stuff and she just calls it out. So that's why she's on here. And that's why I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like, if you see here, girl, on the video at the three minute mark, they cut it off. But if you look real slow, you can see. Hey, that's very much her. Okay. Hey, but you do, once I, re uh, once I point it out, you do be clocking it. You do be clocking like, it. Oh, wow. See? Justice for Adam McIntyre. Because he still is going through it. Like, the psychological, psychologically, it's a lot. So, well, shout out to him for taking like it. Cody came and he had a wound that was scabbing over and she just ripped the freaking wound off, basically, and made it start bleeding all over again. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Cody. I will say this. Stay tuned for part two, because we're going to have more receipts. Okay, guys. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.